Drinking buddies. I thought it would be really fun to talk about the five bottles that really helped shape my early whiskey journey and see what you guys think about them. I'm your drinking buddy. <sighs> All right, drinking buddies. So I feel like I have five bottles that helped shape my whiskey journey dramatically, especially early on. And I have to begin with the one that really made me fall in love with whiskey. My first cocktail was this whiskey with Sprite and I drank a ton of them in college. And it wasn't a while, you know, it was a long time later before I realized that I liked whiskey neat, but Makers and Sprite really helped me realize that I liked whiskey. Um, other than beer in, you know, college and, you know, my early journey of, of drinking, uh, the only thing I really drank besides beer was Makers and Sprite. And uh, um, Makers is a wonderful mixer. So if you need a mixing bourbon, grab this. And then if you need a wonderful bourbon to sip neat, uh, this is a great bottle for that. It still stands up today when I'm used to drinking things like WLW and Jack 10 and, you know, Whiskey No Box spring releases, whatever I might be used to drinking right now, I can still go back to can still go back to, to Maker's Mark and love it. Next up, the one that made me realize that I liked drinking bourbon neat. 1792 small batch. I know that this is a bottle. I feel like this is a bottle that not enough people are talking about. I get it. It's a lower end shelf bottle and those bottles are not that exciting to some people, but this is a lower end shelf bottle. That is excellent neat. It's excellent neat. Um, you get enough flavor off the 93.7, right? 93.7 proof. And it's not over oaked. It's not too youthy. It's just right in that sweet zone where you get those bourbon vanillas and caramels and droves. You get a little fruitiness. 1792 small batch, wonderful pour. Next up, the bottle that made me realize that I straight up loved bourbon. Wild Turkey 101. It is hard to make a list about bourbon without talking about Wild Turkey 101. It is the bottle that made me fall in love with bourbon. It's the bottle that made me realize that I'm just straight up a bourbon lover. Yes, this is the one that made me realize I could drink it neat. This is the one that I realized I love it neat. Next up, the bottle that changed everything. Bookers. My first Bookers uh, was a it was a very nervous experience for me to see a bourbon on a shelf for $90. Actually a very anxious experience to pay for this because I'd never paid that much for a piece of alcohol before. <laughs> but the bottle that I bought lasted me almost two years. So when you pay $90 for something and it lasts you two years, I would call that a bargain. That, that is not outrageous to pay. And I still feel like even two years, you know, almost, you know, even three years later that Booker's is overpriced and it's a little overrated and I don't buy them very often, but I buy about, you know, maybe one a year because I do still have a soft spot for them in my heart and they're excellent. But if you like Booker's, you probably should just stick with something like a Knob Creek single barrel for roughly half the cost because they're probably better and a little cheaper. But Booker's is the one that made me realize that I loved bourbon at higher proof. I remember drinking this thing neat at 127 proof and being like, I, I had no idea you could get that much flavor off of a whiskey. And it blew my mind. It literally blew my mind. Last up, the whiskey that made me fall in love with rye. Rare Breed Rye from Wild Turkey. This bottle made me fall in love with rye. I knew I liked whiskey, I knew I liked sipping neat, and almost every time we would break out a rye, I would think it was okay, but not as good as a bourbon. And then we started putting this one, um, a friend, a couple friends and I started putting this in blinds and it was just crushing everything. Bourbons, rye, everything. Our first like eight blinds, we had a winner from each round. And then we took all those winners and put them up against each other and the the, the initial winner of all of those wines we did in like our first year of drinking whiskey neat was, uh, was uh, Wild Turkey Rare Breed Rye. 
Um, you know, that included things like Booker's, that included things like 1792, that included things like Wild Turkey 101, that included things like Special Edition Maker's Mark. Um, Wild Turkey Rare Breed, it is, it is a very underrated bottle. I see so many people on YouTube talking about Rare Breed. And this bottle is better. It's better. This is non-chill filtered. The regular Rare Breed, chill filtered. This bottle is a similar proof, but rye, more flavor, more going on here. This bottle is one that you need to have in your collection. If you're a bourbon fan, if you're a rye fan, if you're a whiskey fan at all, and you don't own Wild Turkey Rare Breed, you're missing out. Well, drinky buddies, those are my five. Those five bottles really helped shape my early journey into whiskey. If you're early in your journey, you need these five. If you're late in your journey, you know what? Maybe uh, maybe revisit one of these or, or visit one that you never tried before. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscri subscribing. That's really what makes this channel possible. And lastly, if you're a super fan, they do have the link in the description to become a channel member. You now soon we're going to be starting to do barrel picks and things like that. Cheers, drinking buddies. Thanks for watching.